see. Right. Um, so we have actually two demos um, here. The one is our communication client, and the other one is Contour and the the Plasma Active on Migo. Um, let us start with with our communication client. It's called Peregrine. It's a full implementation of the uh, Migo communication stack. It allows you to connect to your Gmail account or your, your Jabber account and so on and well puts all together. Um, this is the old version and the current stable version. So it implements in full QML UI without any kind of components in backend. Um, so we just in our new version, which is running on this this one, we were figuring, okay, how, how can we make it possible to run on multiple devices with different resolutions and capabilities? And we said, okay, we need to become modular. Uh, we are using the Amigo UX here um, through an interface, so our, our own application doesn't need to change when we change the actual interface. And what you have here is a full chat and you can use it like a button. So you can put it into your QML, and, but you have a full-blown chat window um, with the contact details, with all the chat here, with the text input. And what you see here is just a test application. It has no background right now, so no connection to the actual communication stack, but you can just test in your entire QML and just send it and test it. And you see here, you you got the guy you are talking with. You can simulate it here, and you can just test everything. You can change the, the sizes and so on. And well, the thing what is missing here, as I said, is the plugin which is actually connecting to the Migo communication stack. What we have here is our Plasma Active, as I already said. Um, so. Well, we started a complete new idea. Uh, we were thinking, okay, how does um, the user actually use our netbook today? And when you come to the old desktop, you actually see you have directories and just put all together and it's not really touchable and, and all these issues. So we were thinking, okay, how can we improve that? And how can we improve the user experience here? Um, and we were thinking, okay, hey, we can have um, activities. Normally you work in a project, you're planning your grandmother's birthday, you're planning the diploma thesis and doing stuff there. Um, well, that's that's this thing here. You see applications, contacts, locations, bookmarks, and all this stuff. Um, well, the core of it is recommendations. And those recommendations are gathered from sensor data, like the GPS. Um, also consider the history of what you have done before also as a sensor. So we get them all these data and putting it through algorithm together into these kind of lists. So it recommends you to do stuff. Come on. You can uh, scroll through it, you know, and it just easily allows you to, to go to new stuff and to, to understand new things. And on the other hand, we have our activity list. You can easily scroll through um, let us see, well, I just mentioned grandmother's birthday, we should have it somewhere. I mean, this, the idea is that you just log it in and then opens up a new, a new desktop. This one is empty, so I just go to the next one. And, well, the idea... There we go. The actual idea of it is that you can easily access your your activity, the things you're doing in a very nice way. You can order this here, you can scroll around, you have options like a long tab, uh, context sensitive menus. So it's all easy to access. And that's, that's the main idea about this research project. Um, it is basically six weeks old. Um, what you see here. It was kicked off six weeks ago. Um, it's all QML and well, it is Plasma um, from the KDE project in the background and it is the new Plasma Touch um, desktop and here it is running on Migo.